So I started a little fish tank in my shed. I um, always like pets and uh, I just got two little goldfish in there right now. And this is just a 20 gallon tank, just had uh, in the attic from storage. But wanted to upgrade a little bit. And so picked up a 55 gallon kit tank that has quite a bit of stuff included with it. I'll kind of go through it as I do this video. Uh, I'm gonna be putting it all together also. Got a lot of toys to put in there as well, just to make it look nice. And then I'm using uh, play sand as the gravel in it. So this thing comes with the filter, the heater, the... I'm not quite sure what's all in it. Right there for you. So it has a lid, the light, the filters, um, some testing stuff, a net, thermometer, uh, 200 watt heater and a filter and I also have a heater in the other tank so I'm probably gonna put that in there also because the shed stays around oh I don't know 50 to 60 in the winter time and this should stay heated with this large amount of water uh, I'm gonna kind of do a test run to see if it's gonna be able to keep up with the uh, winter time all right just kind of started unboxing this uh, kit uh, 55 gallon aquarium got the lid uh, just out a little bit they do have an extra breakaway along with the filter breakaway, two feeding spots, and let me get it open. They do have the lights underneath there with LED strips um, with two cords. So uh, not the most sturdy lids, but um, they should do a good job just making sure the water doesn't evaporate. And uh, this is essential all in one. The kit is from Top Fin. Also have a filter, I haven't got that quite out yet. Uh, it's a double filter. Three stage, 40 to 75, so should be good there. And um, it's got a heater as well. This is an adjustable heater that came with it. 200 watts, so should be good. I have an extra 100 watt. Um, I'm actually probably gonna take this one back and then get another 200 just because it is get a little bit cold out in the shed here um, around that 50 degree mark. So this should be able to hold it up just for goldfish and cold water fish. But um, all right, the hard part is gonna be getting this heavy thing up here. So I just wiped it down. Um, obviously I have some cleaning off to do, but we're gonna try to lift that by myself and put it up there. All right, I got it. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, but uh, did end up getting it. Just had to muscle it up there. So I also picked up one of these uh, backgrounds and there's a couple different backgrounds. Well, two actually, it's just reversible. I think I'm gonna go with the darker one, but uh, you gotta pull this off and kind of stick it on there. I'm gonna see how, how to install it here in a second. So I ended up getting this Sea View background, Brilliant Backgrounds. And basically it's just like an oily residue. Um, you wipe it all down on the front side. This is actually the side I'm not using, but on the front side. And it basically just makes a nice sticky, oily residue on there. And you're supposed to take a credit card and slowly move the bubbles out. Trimming it as you go as well. So when you turn it around, kind of glares bad right here, but you have the finished background with no bubbles. Now there are some little tiny bubbles. You can kind of see them right there. Um, Got to go back in there. I couldn't really see them from the other angle, but I'll try to get all the little bubbles out. For the bottom of my tank, I uh, read a line that play sand is a cheap and easy solution. So I got a couple bags, uh, 50 pounds each. I got three of them. I don't think I'm going to need all three but we'll put them in the bottom of the tank. I just need to wash them thoroughly and make sure that they're nice and clean. All right, I got a sand castle. Wash it all, just kind of spread it around. Probably need at least one more of those.
All right, kind of what it looks like so far. And uh, these things, I'm assuming, are floating, and they'll actually just kind of wave in the background too. It'll look kind of neat. But we're gonna fill it up and see how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna let the water settle down and uh, should clear out here, oh, probably a day or so. And uh, gonna have the tank sit for probably about a week or two. And that's just gonna make it nice. And um, I have some of this stuff. It just creates good bacteria in the tank and the filters and everything. So once it's all clear, I'll give you another shot and uh, show you what's going on. These are going to be the luckiest little two goldfish to get the giant upgrade tank. This is my 20 gallon tank, uh, compared to the big one. It's going to be quite the <laughs> improvement for now anyways. I'm not sure what I'm going to fill it up with. But they love to chow down. Little comet goldfish. Here's an update. Uh, it's been about six hours, seven hours. It's already cleared up really nice. You can kind of see a lot more of the background, the foreground, some of those bushes. It's gonna turn out pretty cool. Now it's the boring part in the waiting cycle where the water gets to where you want it to be and we'll ask our ends some fish. Also added this automatic feeder. It'll feed two times a day and it just rotates and the flakes come out. Got it set so it's about the right amount and the fish are happy. I did end up getting one more goldfish, a little fancier goldfish. Um, everybody suggested just to keep to goldfish instead of getting clams or snails and uh, anything else really well thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment otherwise um, i'll have some more videos coming up thanks